Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. We are back out on the deck and we are going to do some more hydro dipping, which is probably what you guessed when you saw the bucket. I have new marbling paints that we're going to try. These are Magic Marble Swirling Paints and they get rave reviews in the Facebook groups I'm in. So we're going to give these a try and see how they compare with the previous dip we did with the um, Easy Magic, or Easy easy Marble Marbling Paints. Alright, so I'm going to try the Superman colors again, just as a reminder. Blue, red, yellow. And we'll see what we get this time. Start with blue. And some red. A little bit of yellow. And finish with more blue. Because I want predominantly blue. We swirl. Stick the paint to the edges. Oh, it's doing that pretty well on its own. I have a 30 ounce skinny. We're going to dip and twist. Dip, twist, break the seal, and pull her up. Well, I tell you what, aside from the red not being red, this is all I have, this magenta. It's pretty close, but it's not red. But that is beautiful otherwise. Just beautiful. All right. Put this to dry and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, just a reminder of how easy it is to clean. You just push all the paints over to the edge so they stick to the sides or they stick to the cardboard. If there are any tiny bits that won't stick somewhere, we can use a little strainer I have. Let's see what colors we want to do next. I notice you get a lot more in each bottle as well. They aren't cheap, but you get a lot. Clearly I'm going to have to find a ruby red. The magenta is just too pink, as magenta usually is. Alright, so some other colors we have that we're going to try. We have metallic green. We have turquoise, which is very deep in the bottle. We'll see what it looks like on something. We have violet. That seems like a pretty combination. I have another one of these bottles from Walmart. They're a dollar. I've taped off the uh, metal parts. There's a metal part and the cap is metal. I screwed the cap on so I've got a handle. So basically we're just coloring this bit and the rest of the tape will come off later. Shake everything up first. All right, here we go. Turquoise. Violet. Oops. Metallic green. Swirl it. Stick it to the edges. Spread it out. Okay. And here we go. Dip and twist. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely. All right, let me put this aside to dry. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, this is a uh, sort of a practice tumbler. It's a 12 ounce wine cup tumbler that I have just massacred. I've tried to strip it and that didn't work. I've tried to repaint it and that didn't work. The epoxy got screwed up, so it was just all kinds of bad. So we're going to practice with this one, and uh, it, who knows, it may turn out looking great. The uh, colors we're going to do are black, neon green, neon orange, and violet. So I guess sort of uh, Halloween-ish. Here's our orange. Neon orange. For like the bucket. And we have neon green. Well, these behave kind of differently, don't they, than the others? The non neons. Okay. A little bit of black. Don't need much. 
does take over. Purple, violet. A little bit more orange, a little bit more green. All right. Swirl it up, spread it out. Well, they're definitely Halloween-y colors. Okay, here we go, dip and twist. Yeah. Interesting. I don't dislike it. I'm not sure I love it, but I don't dislike it. Kind of scratched it. <laughs> Clearly you need to have a something to hold on to that doesn't need to be painted. I tried to dump that one onto something upside down and it didn't work. But it was a, it was a test run. All right, we've got one more to do, so let me clean this up and then we'll do one last trial. All right, what's left is a jar that I have spray painted white. We'll hold onto the lid and then hopefully manage to get it off my hand and onto the table on a lid, on its lid without screwing it up. I'm gonna do black, light blue, and metallic green for this last one. See how that goes. I must say I'm not all that impressed with the, the Halloween one we just did. <laughs> I think that cup is just destined to be a screw up. I'll show you. This is not looking good. I don't know if you can see it clearly on the camera, but the black is just blending rather horribly with the orange and the green. I do have three neon colors. Maybe I should just do those three and see how that works out. Okay, we're going to go with neon green, neon orange, and neon yellow and see how this works out. No black. No other colors that aren't neons. See if the neons play well with each other. Neon green. <laughs> and onto my deck. Okay. Neon yellow. It's interesting. It's, it's reacting to the other paint that you can't see, but I guess there's a little bit of it still on the water. That would mean you need to dump this out in between. That's kind of a pain in the butt. A little more yellow. All right. Well, let's give it a try anyway. Marble it. Yeah. Spread it out. We're going to get a lot of gaps, I think, in this one. Okay, dip and twist. Yeah, I don't know what that is there. That's very unpleasant. That's remnants from other colors. Okay, so to do the neons, you need to get rid of the other colors. You need to start over with fresh water and do neons first. I think that's pretty clear. I don't dislike this at all, but uh, it's messed up. That, that whole area there is just not particularly attractive. So, lesson learned there. All right, well, in wrapping this up, I would have to say that I'm uh, less impressed with these paints than I thought I would be. Uh, they got such rave reviews. Everybody said they were so much better than the other Easy Marble ones that I had before. And I'll link to that previous video so you can watch that and see what I mean. I thought those turned out beautifully. These aren't not beautiful, but they're not, they're not as good as I hoped. All right, so I'm gonna let these dry and then we'll come back for a little recap and you will see how everything turned out. Stay tuned. Hey folks, okay, we are here on the deck for a recap. I'll try to be quick. Uh, first up, we have these two different kinds of marbling paints I've used now in these two videos. Actually, there were three. I also did spray paints, but of the specific marbling paints, this was what we used today, the Magic Marble Swirling, Swirling Paint. I'll link all of these below in the description. This is what we used last time, the Marabou Easy Marble Paints, and I will link those down below as well. Uh, of the two, 
Right now, I have to say my favorite is the Marabou. Um, now here, here's, this is from a previous pour. This was spray paint. This was Krylon spray paint in all neons that you saw me spray over and over and over and over and over. And I ended up with a little too much green because I didn't think it was coming out, but it was. <laughs> so it glopped. But I think these uh, neons turned out quite well. Whereas today's neons turned out looking pretty sad. Um, after thinking about it and going back and looking at the video again, I believe what happened was after the first two dips that we did today, even though I cleaned the water with a piece of cardboard and a strainer and you couldn't see anything, I couldn't see anything uh, remaining on the top of the water, on the surface, uh, when I put the next round of marble paints in, like these neons or these Halloween colors, um, the paints behaved differently than they had for the first two, which this was the first one here, the red, blue, green, yes, the red, blue, yellow, that was, that turned out really well. And the second one, the uh, purple, turquoise, and uh, metallic green, that turned out beautifully also. Those paints all spread out instantly when they hit the water and made for a beautiful swirl and a beautiful a beautiful coverage overall. But then after that point, we went on to this one, and when I put the paints in, they just stayed in little blobs on the water and they didn't, they didn't spread out and they didn't marble well. And basically, in this case especially, the neons just mixed with the, not so much the purple, but the black and became hideous looking. And this one that was all neons, nothing but neons, it, even so, it just, I think, I think this is remaining residue from the previous pores. I think that may even be residue from, of black from this mess. So maybe black isn't the greatest color in this type of paint. Um, so I'm going to try it again, not today, we're done with this one, but in the future I will do another test where I will... <laughs> actually empty the water between each pour and we'll see if we get better results but for today i'm calling it a day um, so we have this beautiful one here i don't want to touch anything it's not completely dry yet and i don't want to mess it up i thought that 30 ounce blue red yellow turned out very pretty although the magenta is magenta not red uh, so I can't really use it for Superman, but it's an attractive cup and I hope to use it for something. This uh, bottle from Walmart, again, $1 at Walmart. And I think once they take all the tape off and epoxy the, uh, the rest of it, it will look gorgeous. So I will do a follow-up video on that at some point. And then these last two were just disasters. I just, I just don't like how they turned out. Luckily, this cup was already a disaster as I explained, and this is an olive jar. <laughs> so, you know, no problem there. Um, I may toss them in a bag with some acetone and see how well they strip. They should strip well, so to speak. Uh, so I, I'll mention that in some future video also. Anyway, thank you for joining me here today. I hope you learned something from this. I would love to hear from people who have used both of these brands of paints, the Easy Marble, the Marabou Easy Marble and the uh, Magic Marble Swirling Paints. And tell me your experiences, please, down in the comments section, because I, I want to hear what other people think. I, I thought I would, I would be liking this one better, but I don't so far. So tips, tricks, suggestions, um, I'm open to ideas here. Thanks everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.